Hello, Expedians. Welcome to Stretch. My name is Rachel. And in this class today, we're not only going to do stretching and mobility movements, but also just kind of activating the right muscle groups to help you move throughout your day with ease. Um, but it's going to be great and relaxing. Let's do it. So I'm going to start with um, butt kickers here, just bringing my legs behind me and kind of warming up my thighs a little bit. Whenever you do, especially static stretches, so stretches where you're holding a motion in place, you want to make sure that we're doing that on warm muscles. Because cold muscles, we can actually stretch a little, a little bit too far, right? We want to have some blood flow there. Making sure my muscles are kind of warm here. Now I'm going to kind of do some twists here next. So I'm just going to do a little bit of bend in my knees, and then I'm reaching up into the side as I pivot on my feet. A few more here. Kind of getting warm, getting that spine warmed up. You might even twist across your chest for a little deeper twist. Right. I'm going to warm up my hips a little bit here. I'm going to take kind of a half squat down, kind of setting my hips behind me here. And I'm keeping my toe pointed forward. I'm going to lift that leg to the side 10 times. Here, four, five, six, seven, really using that hip muscle here, eight, nine, ten. And other side, kind of half squat down, going for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring that leg down. Now we're going to go for kind of a deadlifting motion, trying to warm up our glute muscles here. So I'm going to send my hips back, trying to keep my back flat, just below the knees, and then squeeze my glutes to come back up. That's two. Three, going for 15 here. Four, five, six. Now at this point, if you can, bring it all the way to your ankles. Seven, back is staying flat. Eight, nine, ten. Send those hips behind you. Last five, four, last three. Last two, and last one. Ooh, good, shake it out a little bit here. Now let's take a long lunge back, keeping that back leg straight, my hand all the way to the ground on the inside of my front foot. I'm gonna hold this and breathe for just a second. The back leg nice and straight. Might bring the arm that's on the inside up and twist across my front leg. And back down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo. Bringing those arms back up, pivot that foot to the front, and long lunge. Leaning to the side here, you might drop that front arm down to the inside of the thigh for a gentle hip stretch, pulling on the inside of that leg. And let your other arm come over for a little bit of a side stretch here. If you want to deepen it, you can try and take that arm all the way to the ankle. On the inside of that ankle. And straighten back up, pivot that back foot back to the front, raise those arms up. Take a breath, really feeling that stretch in the front of that back thigh. Okay. Let's step back together. Nice long lunge back, bring the arms to the inside of the foot. The arm closest to my foot. We're going to raise up and twist for 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and straighten that, those arms back up. And hold here and breathe. I'm gonna stay neutral, nice stretch in the front of that back hip. Go ahead and open up that hip by pivoting that back foot. Arm comes down to the inside of that front thigh and reach over. Bring it to the ground if you want that extra stretch. And bring your arm back to your side, pivot back to the front. Ooh, nice long stretch up, reaching your arms to the ceiling, and step back together. Ooh, all right. Let's bring it down to the ground and get our abs just a little bit warmer here. I'm going to lie on my back, lifting my legs up, pushing my lower back into the mat. And I'm going to drop one leg at a time. My arms are staying down by my sides. I'm keeping a bend in my legs. And I'm really pushing my lower back into the mat. I'm <clears throat> only dropping my toes as far as I can without letting my lower back lift. Move as far as you can here. Really. Use your abs to push that back into the ground. If you want to add some challenge, try and lift your opposite arm up overhead as that toe drops to the floor. Keep that bend in your legs. A few more here. Find those abs turn on. Might even go double leg, double arm if you want that extra challenge. Okay. Let's go last three, two, and last one. Ooh, drop those legs down. Relax that belly, take a breath. Now we're going to bring our legs close, rest our arms down by our sides. I'm going to use my abs again, pushing my back into the mat, and then pushing my heels to the floor to lift my hips high. Up and down here, turning on those glutes. Go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And rest your back back down. Give your knees a hug. Might even roll it out here just a little bit. Ooh, and roll back up. Get a quick neck stretch in here. You can do the standing or on the ground. My arms, shoulders are relaxed down my back. Chest is up, good posture. I'm gonna tilt one ear to one shoulder. Hold for about a second and switch. Back and forth here. Sides. Keep your chest nice and high. And let's go ahead and look over the left. Hold. And look over the right. And switch. Hold for about a second and switch. Back and forth here. Keeping that posture. And we're going to go half circles, dropping my eyes to my left shoulder, down to my chest, and over to the other side. And switch. I don't want to roll my neck all the way back behind me, unless you have your chest up nice and high like this, so that we're not cranking our neck to our back. It doesn't feel good on my spine. So just half circles here, or lifts eyes to the ceiling, without dropping the back of your head to your back. 
and switch directions. Good. And I'm going to take two fingers, bring them on either side of my spine, kind of in that upper back muscle here, put some pressure into that muscle, and then I'm going to draw my elbows down. Just a little bit of a soft massage here. Two more. Pressure of choice. And last one. Good. All right. Now for one quick hip stretch here. While I'm in this crisscross position on the floor, I'm going to walk my arm over to one knee. And just do a little bit of a spinal twist here. I can even grab this knee and try and reach down over for a little deeper hip stretch. Or you can keep that twist in the spine here. Take a breath. And come back up to center, walk over to the other knee. Crossing my arm across for a twist. Or you can walk all the way over that knee. Kind of drop your chest to your thigh. And come back up to center. That is all I have for you today, Expedia. I hope you feel mobile ready for the day or the evening, and have a fantastic rest of your week. Stay safe, healthy, and connected.